the exercises that glaucoma and optic nerve damage patients should avoid. There are certain physical exercises, such as pull-ups or weightlifting, that should be avoided by glaucoma patients because they might lead to a significant rise of intraocular pressure. The headstand positions are also considered to be dangerous for glaucoma and optic nerve damage patients. Nowadays, yoga is considered to help reducing stress and strengthening health. Therefore, it becomes a chosen lifestyle for many people. However, individuals with elevated eye pressure should be very careful with some yoga poses they practice. In 2015, Dr. Robert Rich proved in a research paper that when doing the following four common yoga poses, the intraocular pressure can increase. By doing the Adoma Kashvanasana yoga position, commonly known as a downward facing dog, IOP increased from 17 mm of mercury to 28 mm of mercury among glaucoma patients, and from 17 to 29 mm of mercury among healthy participants. By doing Uttanasana position, standing forward bend. The IOP from the glaucoma group increased from 17 to 27 mm of mercury and from 18 to 26 mm of mercury among healthy participants. In the Halasana position, the yoga plow IOP increased from 18 to 24 mm of mercury among glaucoma patients and from 18 to 22 mm of mercury among healthy individuals. The lowest IOP changes were with the Viparita Karani position, legs up the wall. For glaucoma patients, the IOP increased from 17 to 21 mm of mercury, and for healthy individuals, from 17 to 21 mm of mercury. After the study, the temporarily elevated IOP dropped back to baseline values in both glaucoma patients and healthy groups. However, the potential danger for the glaucoma patients, cannot be excluded. Therefore, yoga practitioners with glaucoma or optic nerve damages of different causes should take care when choosing their physical exercises.